my name is Katie Waxman, and I am the director of the California Simulation Alliance in San Francisco, California, as well as an associate professor at the University of San Francisco. I conducted a, an online survey with three colleagues. Uh, Dr. Marie Gilbert was our PI, Dr. Greg Gilbert and Carrie Congini were um, part of the team as well. Our focus was the scope of hospital-based simulation in the state of California. We sent our survey, uh, we developed a survey that was sort of based on the International Nursing Association uh, for Clinical Simulation and Learnings survey that they did two years ago. And we condensed it to be focused on California and sent it out to over 500 potential participants. And these were all nurse executives. We ended up with a 9% response rate and our analysis was performed on 32 surveys that met our criteria. So of those 32 uh, surveys, we found that 96% of them are using simulation in their hospital, primarily for education. 37% uh, are using it for health system integration and systems testing, and 30% for error investigation, and 15% for research and patient family education. What we found as a result of this and what we are uh, concluding and would like to recommend and discuss going forward is that we found that simulation was a barrier to most hospitals due to cost. And so we would like to work with hospitals and we recommend that we look at a cost benefit analysis. We look at the return on investment because simulation is not all about the mannequin or the equipment. It's about the pedagogy. It's about looking at high risk, low volume events, using simulation to do training and coming up with an ROI. So we've looped back with these nurse executives to discuss ways we can help them integrate simulation into their educational strategy, primarily looking at things like CLABSI or CAUDI or sepsis. And we have created some tools that can assist them on building a business case for simulation in their hospitals. So for now, most of the schools, 99% of our schools of nursing in California are using simulation. And what we found is only probably a third of the hospitals are using it effectively at this time. Thank you for your time. And if you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out to me, Marie, Greg, or Carrie.